So when you have a big laboratory, like the National Superconducting Cyclotron Laboratory, of course it's smack dab in the middle of Michigan State University, we want people to understand what we're doing, you know, what, why we're doing this research and, and why it's exciting and, and there's a lot of value. <laughs> there's a ton of value. I've had this idea, really, for a long time. It would be, it'd be cool if we had a game about the laboratory. And in the end, I you know, just happened to meet somebody who was you know, working with the gel lab, and a collaboration was born. One of the main guidelines we were given is that they wanted this game to teach students about the table of nuclides. There's something like 3,000 of these things because it's every variation possible of protons and neutrons. In the end, the easy way to say it, we accelerate and smash nuclei and study what's left over. There you go, that's what we do. Can we make a game that by playing it, someone will understand what this chart really represents? It's actually really interesting uh, getting to talk to the, the physicists behind it and learn a lot about the process to the point where I could explain it to people I know. You can go into any single isotope and create it and get the experience of colliding two things together, it splits apart, and then you assemble the pieces together to create the isotope and fill that part of the chart in. We treat the iPad like that's the device you're doing science with. We wanted to treat it like you're looking into this world and you're getting to see magnified millions of times all of these explosions and particle effects happening. It really is an opportunity to virtually be a nuclear scientist. And that's what thrills me.